All right, so a couple days ago, I posted this vlog titled Saying Goodbye to the Car. Yeah, you know, you got to give it a title that's going to draw some people's attention to it. I don't know what this one will be titled, but we'll figure it out. Anyway, I dropped the Fiat off at West Coast Customs. It's currently being wrapped. In fact, I'm hoping to get some, some progress photos of it today. But we'll save that for another time when you get to see it in the reveal video in a few days, hopefully. Anyway, at the end of this video, I included this clip that, other than a, an eyeful of chest hair, that you get to see there. Uh, I talked about a new vehicle acquisition of mine. And I actually, I didn't even plan on putting this in there, into this vlog, when I set off for that day. It just kinda, I got home from West Coast Customs. I was excited after looking at the swatches of, of different wrap colors and whatnot. And I was like, you know what? I just, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna come out and I'm gonna say it and we'll see what people think. So, if you caught the video, I, I mentioned that I had previously, um, up until a, a year ago when I traded it in for the McLaren, had a Ferrari 458, and that I just recently went out and I traded the Bentley and got a, a 458 Spider because I'd always wanted a, a convertible, and I loved having the 458, had it for three and a half years or so, three years, three and a half years, it was somewhere in that ballpark, um, but it was, it was great, really enjoyed it, and so I, I did that. I was a little self-conscious about sharing it, but you know, a lot of people were actually very supportive in, in the comments for the most part. You do you, don't worry about it, uh, don't feel badly, uh, where's the Ford, hopefully before the end of the year. Have I mentioned in a video that my delivery window or my order window for the Ford GT is supposed to be between March and May? And yes, I, I still plan on getting that. The, the 458 Spider doesn't affect that uh, at all. So hopefully before the end of the year, the Ford GT might come in. So a little bit of an update there. We'll see. I might have mentioned that in the vlog from Palm Springs at the racetrack. I can't remember. But in any case, just figured I'd reiterate. Anyway, just you know, there were a lot of nice comments in there, and it, it warmed my heart. And so I really appreciate that. And I like the ability to share things here on this channel that I do find genuinely interesting, and cars are one of those things. And I did get a lot of requests in the comments on that video, and then I teased a little image on Instagram. People were like, can you just, come on, just show it to us. And so I figured that since, you know, we'll have to become well acquainted, and by we, I mean you guys and the vehicle, which I have yet to give like a name, like a pet name. Do you do that? If you have a car, do you, do you give it a name? I've always been a little bit weird about that. I suppose I call it the Bentley Bay, but not actually like named it a real name. I'm sorry if anyone out there is actually named Bay and I just said your name's not a real name. I really, I didn't mean to do that. But since you'll be well acquainted at some point, you know, um, with whenever I, I do elect to get it wrapped, I figure we could do a little bit of uh, an introduction today so that you get to meet it, gets to meet you, can all be friends, hopefully, unless you, you truly despise the, the spec on it. Or just if you don't like the car in general, that's that's totally up to you. Um, but you can you can get acquainted, and and then if you don't like the color, well, it's probably going to get wrapped. So that'll be another opportunity. So why don't we go over? We'll take a look, and and say hello. Okay. Before we go in there, and I know I'm beating a dead horse because I've said it multiple times now, but because I'm self-conscious about it, I just want to say again, I'm not doing this to show off. I had the 458 for three years before, never once showed it on camera, but I'm trying to open up more about the car stuff, so here we go. Hopefully, if you're interested in cars, you'll enjoy it, and hopefully that's why you've stuck around so far in the video. All right, here we go. If you've stuck around this far, I'm assuming you like cars and you're interested, so here we go in three, two, one. There she is. The color is called Grigio Scuro, which uh, I probably just mispronounced horribly, 
But I actually, I do like the look of it. I just think we could go uh, a little bit crazier. Also, it really kind of matches over there, so a little variety wouldn't do too much harm either, even though obviously that will go soon in favor of the Ford GT. Now you're like, oh, I know why he was uh, kind of focusing on pointing over in this direction when he was filming the last couple of vlogs with the Fiat in it because he didn't want to, you know, show the car. So it really opens up my angles that I'm able to film in here now that I've shown this thing so I don't have to always be so tight into one corner. Anyway, okay, so what are the specs on this? It's actually, I got it um, not because of the color, but I got it because of all the other specs that it has, which were basically exactly what I wanted. I had to buy it used because they don't make the 458 anymore, they make the 488. I wanted naturally aspirated because I like the sound, so that's why I got this one. So it's got the racing seats in it, which I had in my old coupe, which I really liked. Uh, they're actually really comfortable and I like the look of them a lot. This has a like hybrid Alcantara slash leather interior, which I also really like. It's uh, real, real nice and soft. Something kind of unique on this one though that I really liked is it's got the 458 Speciale bottom panel here and it's all done in carbon fiber. Usually on the regular 458, the bottom panel here, well, it doesn't have this fin thing, right? And it kind of, uh, it angles back out. It kind of sticks back out this way down here. Um, but I, I just, I really like the carbon fiber, A. It's some cool contrast. And especially if I do give the car a wrap, like the wrap will go down to here and then we'll have the nice carbon fiber contrast because I won't wrap this panel. So it'll look really cool. And it's actually similar to the way that I had my older 458 wrapped. I had a matte red, but it, it had a gloss black on this panel down here. I just like the look of that sort of contrast. It's also more minor details, but it's got the, uh, the carbon fiber shields over here. Normally these are yellow and uh, it just goes a lot better, I think, when it has the carbon fiber ones. And it's got the uh, carbon fiber center wheel caps, which again, usually yellow, but I like the look of them a lot more. And you're like, that looks pretty minor. I'm sure you could just change those if you had the yellow ones. Real funny story, <laughs> I on the old one, they were yellow and I was like, oh, I wonder what it would cost to just change them using the OEM parts. And uh, so I looked into it and it was very expensive just to get the carbon fiber ones. And I was like, as a matter of principle, I'm gonna not do that. Even though I, I would like to, and I do like, you know, how it, how it makes the car look with just those little bitty details changed. It, it was pricey, so. Uh, I'm not even gonna say how much it was because you guys will be like, that's just, it's outrageous. It's also got the uh, carbon fiber bits up here a little bit harder to see. It's not as noticeable of a detail. Have you, can you tell that I, I like the carbon fiber details of things? And this has like basically every possible carbon fiber option on it. It's got the carbon fiber here, uh, carbon fiber driver zone on the steering wheel and the dash, carbon fiber in the center there these little carbon fiber bits, which are more minor, but they're still there. And the coup de gras, it's got the whole, it's, it's a little dark, so it's hard to see, but this entire back splitter area, uh, that entire piece is carbon fiber as well. And it's, I'm sure, a little bit too dark to see, but uh, it's nice. It's got the blacked out tailpipes as well, which, I mean, if they were chrome, I, I would have gone and gotten them blacked out whenever I get the thing wrapped, but, Here's your view of it. So, you wanna hear it start up? Of course you do, because naturally aspirated engines sound great. So, let's do it. I know you want me to rev the thing, but I just don't want to bother everyone else in the neighborhood, so we'll have to wait for another opportunity to do that. But it's still pretty loud on startup, and given the echo within the garage, hopefully it'll hold you over for a little while. 
All right, well, there you have it. The last naturally aspirated mid-engine V8 Ferrari. In 20, 30 years, who knows? It could be a collector's item. We'll see, depending upon where all the uh, regulations go as far as smaller displacement engines and needing to have turbochargers and all that. Having something that sounds like this could become a hot commodity. You never know. That's not why I bought it. I just really like the thing. But hey, we'll see where it goes in the future. Anyway, also where it goes with the wrap, which I'm thinking possibly the satin chrome blue. I think it could look really cool. And it also, I think the interior can work with it just because it's gray with the white contrast stitching. So I don't think it requires any like particular color to also match the color scheme. So it's pretty flexible what we can do without clashing colors too much, I think. Anyway, we'll see where it leads. I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for bearing with me and, uh, and being interested in this as well. It's really awesome to see. So thanks so much for that. And uh, I look forward to more car related stuff in the future, especially with the Ford GT when the process for that starts really taking off. It's gonna be cool, it's gonna be fun. I'm excited, I'll see you later.